Hello, this is Eric Bobro, and in today's Archicad video training session, we'll be looking at creating general notes and specifications for layout sheets. Uh, here you see a um, page with five columns of notes, and here's another page, and another page. So here we have uh, quite a lot of text that's been carefully put together by one of our clients who shared it with us for training purposes. Um, when I zoom in a little bit, we'll see that there's a, a lot of numbering and lettering that's done in sequence. There's some uh, nice graphic uh, touches, such as um, uh, the boxes around certain things. And uh, in general, it's uh, got a fair amount of work uh, put into it, uh, just on the graphic side, in addition to the actual architectural information. Um, now, let's take a look, then, um, in uh, how we would create a sheet like this. So I'll go in and add a... Uh, new layout here using similar five column format and uh, we'll see the five columns with no text in them now you may um, have a question just how did we get five columns like that set up this is um, this layout is using a particular master the one that has notes for five column I'll go open um, that up and you can see here is the master layout. You want to go to the settings for it. It says that it's got a grid. And in that grid, we've got five columns horizontally and only one vertically. So um, this is a, a very simple way to set it up. And then we have um, the margins adjusted, for example, to have enough space on the right side for the title block um, here. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, using that particular master layout. Let's start to put in um, some text. So if I go to the text tool here, and let's just zoom in a bit. I'll draw a box to say that I'd like to put text in this area. Now the box actually collapses to a single line, but keeps the width of the column that I've defined. And I'll just type in something to start this out. This text can be formatted to make it a little bit more interesting. Let me make the text a little bit bigger and bold to stand out. And if I wish, I can go and uh, perhaps change the indentation to uh, give it a little bit more clarity in certain contexts. However, Archicad does not have automatic numbering. So if I did want to put numbers for a series of paragraphs, uh, I would have to manually do that. If uh, I added or took away some of the points, I would have to renumber all of that text. And in addition, I can only work on one text block at a time, which means that each column is uh, handled separately and it will not wrap the text automatically. If I add more text than will fit in a column, I'll have to cut off the bottom uh, you know, cut the text from there and paste it to the beginning of the next column's text block. And that might involve actually quite a bit of reconfiguration for multiple text blocks that are all um, supposed to be linked together. So while Archicad can create some reasonably good looking um, text formatting, uh, it is much more limited than, um, say, something like Microsoft Word. So let me switch to Word and we'll take a look at um, some specifications. Uh, that we have here. And you can see um, not only different um, font sizes and, and uh, stylings, but we also have boxes and, and um, the automatic numbering uh, here. Let me just uh, copy a little bit of this and say if we were to prepare this in Word and copy it and then go back to Archicad, say paste it in, it looks at first glance pretty good. But the, there's no uh, boxes around the text. And the numbering, if I were to select this, the um, text here is just an ordinary text. In other words, after I paste it in, the numbering will not actually be smart. And in order to have it renumber, I would have to go back to Word. And I can only copy and paste one uh, columns worth at a time, and we'll have to manually maintain 
um, the flow from one column to the next. So there's some real limitations to using copy and paste, although it can be a way to get some more formatting and some of the automatic numbering uh, done uh, for you uh, directly in Word. So uh, I'm going to show you a way that we can get more uh, control, more graphic um, quality uh, by using PDF. So uh, uh, since about Archicad 10 or 11, we've been able to import PDF um, onto uh, a layout sheet or a worksheet or anywhere in an Archicad drawing window. And this will allow us to bring in things from Word directly. So let's go and switch to Word and say, uh, uh, I don't want to have a an 8.5 by 11 sheet. I would like to make a sheet, um, say it's going to be the 24 by 36 uh, that I am working on. So I'll uh, select the page setup and I'll go here from US Letter. I'll say Manage Custom Sizes. So I'm going to create a custom size and I'll add it with the plus here. And this may look different depending on what version of Word and whether you're on Mac or Windows. But basically, you can create a custom size of and specify what that size is going to be. So I'll say that it's going to be uh, 36 inches wide by 24 inches high. So that'll be my page image. And uh, of course, I could specify the margins. So we'll call this D size 24 by 36. OK. Now you can see that the page has gotten much bigger. We would like to have this in columns. So let me go to the Format menu for Columns and say that I would like to apply this column to the whole document and that I'd like to make it five columns here. And when I say OK, we'll see it break up into five columns. So at first glance, it looks like we've got a page image that we can put directly onto our architectural sheet as a PDF. and it's really simple. But if you look more closely, and I'll zoom in, you'll see that each of these columns is about four inches. So here's four, and you can see up at the top here where I'm pointing, eight, and then here's 12, 16, and I'll go all the way to the right, and it's 21, 22 inches approximately. Well, you may recall that I set up 24 by 36, so it really should have been 36 inches wide. However, what Word did was, if I say show the whole page, is it stopped the size or limited it to a maximum of 22 inches in each direction. Microsoft does not allow Word page sizes to go beyond that. So we have a real problem here in that uh, we can't create something the full size of the architectural um, layout that we're working with. So one workaround that I've taught people to use for years is to go in the page setup and say let's just make instead of a full page let's make a specification sheet that is essentially the size in this case six and a fraction inches by 21 something inches that's the size of one column and when I do that well I have, of course I have to format the columns and say that uh, I'm going to have just one column again but we now have a column image and that will fit beautifully within Word's limitation. If I go and say show um, this at 50 percent or something like that, it'll show several of them side by side. Now each one of these is actually a separate page rather than a column. So if I highlight some text here, you'll see down below it says page 1 of 15. If I go in here, it says page 2. If I go here, you'll see it says page 3. So each of these is considered a page. Now I can then go and print this and save as PDF. Now on the Mac, this is how you do it. On Windows, you uh, might use a different command to create a PDF. But once you do that, you're going to have the option to create that PDF file, which I've already done, so I won't uh, overwrite it. Let me go back to Archicad. And let's take a look, actually, at how we would place that. So I'll just zoom out. And I'll get rid of the text block that I started to put in. Go to the File menu, External Content, Place External Drawing. And go find the Master Specifications PDF file. And open it. And it then says, oh, well, you've got a bunch of pages. Which one do you want? I'll say just page one is fine. Place it. And I'll click somewhere in the middle. 
Now you notice that the line disappears if the if the um, uh, drawing is overlapping it. So I do want to make sure that when I do this, that I place it just perhaps a hair over that line so that the line disappears at top and bottom. Now, I do have a little bit of an issue here, and that is that this column uh, has, uh, uh, that is a drawing, actually has a title. So I'll need to go and um, go into the drawing settings here and look at the title and say, no, I really don't want a title. And that title goes away. So uh, if I use the eyedropper to pick the setting up, then the next time I place a drawing, it won't put a title in. So I'll go external content, place external drawing, go find that same specifications file, say that I want page two this time, place it, and just pop it in. This is how the sheet that was already done was created. You can see here is one drawing, and it says that it is page one of this master specifications file. If I click on this one, it says page two, click on this one, page three, and so on. So it's very, very powerful because you can um, work in Word where you have all of the power of the formatting, then save as PDF in a single step, and then simply placing one drawing per column with a page of the PDF as the drawing uh, will give you beautifully formatted general notes on page after page um, automatically. Now if you do update things in Word, so I've now got a bunch of stuff under site work that was just added, and I'll go ahead and print it again to PDF, and I will just go ahead and overwrite this master specifications file. I'll save it. It'll tell me I'm overwriting it. I'll replace that. So after having made whatever small or major changes, I go back to ARCHICAD you can see here's the site work. I'll um, just go to the update button here on the right side. This will update all of the drawings on this sheet. And you can see here's all the new stuff that I had typed in. So virtually instantly we can have the Word updates flow in. And you may have noticed that the next column just slid down because, of course, I added more lines here. And it will do this for every single page. Now we're looking at a particular sheet, and we would, in order to get the other ones updated, we would have to go to the next sheet. You know, whether we zoom out or, or not, we would just go to the next sheet and say update, um, etc. Or we could go to the drawing manager here and do these all together. So if I went to, um, let's say that I um, sorted by um, what sheet they're on. So if I click on the hi highlight that says placed to, this is the um, uh, the layout that it's on. And you can see that these five here are the ones that are on the current sheet, the one that I flipped to. Um, this is the, the ones above were the ones that I had already updated. But these ones down below are the next two pages. And if I simply click on this, then I can update you know all of those in a single step. So I can go very quickly and update all of the specifications based on that change. This is a, a great way to work with uh, Word and ARCHICAD uh, is to simply create um, a uh, setup in Word where each page is a single column. And then you save as PDF and you place each sheet of the PDF as a drawing in ARCHICAD. Um, in the next segment of the training um, on this topic, I'll be looking at what happens when your um, sheet is actually larger in terms of the column than Word will allow, because remember it only allows up to 22 inches high. And I will also present a way that you can actually um, create all of the columns in a single Word document, even though Word prevents you from making something larger than 22 inches square. Uh, so uh, I'll be uh, doing that in the next segment of this training. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two.